welcome back in this tutorial we will be solving exercise containing mechanical engineering object so we will be creating this object so at first we have to set the limit so we will take a limit of suppose 200 200 68 and 39 45 so we will take a limit of 200 comma 200 so at first we will set the limits so give the limits command then enter then lower left corner corner will be 0 comma 0 enter then upper right corner will be 200 comma 200 press enter then to uh, apply the limits we have to zoom all so for that we will use Z enter A enter that will zoom all then next at first we will create the layers at first so that we can create the center line hidden line and continuous line so at first we will go to layer properties new layer then create a layer suppose continuous then we will assign color to it then line type is continuous we don't want any line width again new layer we will take it center then give the color ok then line type we want center so we will click on this continuous now center is not available so we will load it then click inside and press C for center C so you will have center there then ok click on center and ok then next will be hidden line so again new layer then give the name as hidden click elsewhere then select the color suppose I want this ok then line type will be hidden so I will click on this center now hidden not available again load click press H on keyboard ok hidden ok so in this way three basic layers we have created we will close this then now what we want to create so we will start with creating this line so we will be working on continuous layer so line of 1 1 3 we will be creating so we will take continuous layer as a current layer then line give the base point click the first point then to make it straight make the ortho mode on then give the length of 1 1 3 press enter then I then I want a vertical line of 22 so I will take it 22 there press enter to come out so in this way 1 1 3 22 then I want to offset 15 33 45 so 15 33 45 so I will offset that so I will take offset then first offset will be at a distance of 15 then press enter select the object give the direction click there again after that next offset will be 15 33 and 45 so we will take it 33 we will key in the 33 press enter then again select this line give the direction distance will be 45 press enter then again so 15 33 45 has been done then from 33 39 offset is required so again we will take this 33 line and 39 will be the distance press enter to come out then we have to create one center line so we will take here center and create one line take line track the midpoint don't click there just hold your cursor for some time and come down then click and give the second point so your line will be center line now this center line is not properly visible so you have to 
increase the gap by giving LTS command so take the LTS press enter then enter new line scale factor suppose I will give for you so it is properly now it is properly visible then next will be so these lines has been created this line is created so I will create these two circle radius 8 and 18 so I will say circle center point radius is 8 enter I want it on continuous so circle center point 18 so I will change this layer of this circle using match properties so match properties select the source object and the destination object press enter to come out then I want these circles to be half so I will just trim it so trim so I will select this line as a cutting edge press enter and remove the unwanted object after that I want vertical lines here so I will take your line from this point to this point so I want if I now click here it will connect the midpoint because it is showing me the midpoint option so I will take my cursor to midpoint and come back to my position so it will track that point and it will create line properly so in this way this line is created so again line this point then track the midpoint come on your position and click press enter then again here I want a circle so I will take circle give the radius of 8 then I will trim the unwanted object I will take this cutting edge enter remove it enter then I want vertical line from up to this line so I will take line from this point to this line again I will track this midpoint and I will just hold the cursor for some time and I will come back to my position and will click there so it will track that point and I will connect this line I will make the ortho off by pressing F8 on keyboard I will connect this line press enter to come out so in this way this portion is ready then next will be radius fillet here of radius 9 so I will just say fillet then I will set the radius click on this radius option radius is 9 enter then click on this first object second object press enter to repeat the radius option now radius is already set to 9 so I will not again set it I will just click on these two lines so in this way this has been created I will just mirror it on this side so it will come on this side also so I will say mirror select the object we can also use the crossing window then press enter then give the first point of mirror line I will give the midpoint this midpoint and second will be this intersection point then it is source object no so I will just press enter so mirror image is created now these lines also needs to be center line so I will just say match properties then I will click on this center line and click on the destination lines destination objects so I don't want such a la I don't want this line so I will just erase it erase select the object press enter I don't want these lines to be uh, this much bigger so I will just say modify break click on the break and click on the point from where you want to break so I want to break from here so uh, I will click there and I will click outside so press enter to to repeat the command again give the first point sec uh, second point will be outside again enter first point is this one outside click outside again enter click here click outside so in this way the front view is created only this La holes has been remained here so at first we will create this top view then we will track it from there so again this top view here is 50 and 68 so we will create this line and offset it at 68 and 50 so we will just by rotating sc scroll button towards user we will zoom minus it 
and uh, then again we will take the line command we will track it we will hold cursor for some time and we will come down and click the position and we want a straight line so we will make the ortho on then again we will track up to this press a enter then we want it to be 15 and 68 so we will offset it so before that uh, we don't want this x x y here so we will just give ucs icon command ucs icon then enter then choose the no region option so it will be going on the left side again i will say offset distance of 15 select the object give the side click there again offset is still running so i will again take this line and distance of 68 and click there press enter then i will create one line connecting to these two points then enter again enter to repeat the line command first point second point enter then here nine fillet is there so i will again say fillet again radius is nine is already there so i will not set that and i don't want to give radi uh, fillet command two times so, so i will make this choose this multiple option so i can fillet as many time as i want so select first line second line select first line second line press enter to come out so in this way this portion has been created so next will be this holes so this is at 14 and from center 30 and the radius is uh, 8 so 14 and 30 from the center so for 30 we will just create one reference line then press enter to come out then we will offset it by distance of 30 select the object on the left side click there enter again offset distance of 14 bottom line on the upper side click there and press enter to come out now here I want a circle of radius 8 so I will create that circle so I will say circle center point radius of 8 so in this way this circle has been created you can zoom it by rotating the scroll towards monitor now I have to array it so for array the distance is 60 and 24 so we will just choose a rectangular array then select object enter then from here we will say number of columns are 2 and gap between column is 60 key in the 60 press enter then again number of rows are 2 key in the row press enter and distance between is 24 that we want it is there so we will just close the array so in this way array is created so again we will just break these lines extra line or we will copy these lines so we will just say copy this line enter then from this center to this center enter to come out again press enter to repeat the command so before that I will just change the layer of these lines so that I will don't have to do it again and again so I will say center click on center press escape to come out and I will break it also so I will just say break from this point to this point just click there then I will copy this line copy this line enter from this center to this center press escape to come out I don't want this line so you can also from keyboard you can give a key in E then press enter and select the object you don't want and enter then I want the projection of these circles to be here so I will again take line I will zoom it and I will just track the at first the center line I will not click I will just track it click there go up and click enter again track this this points so again enter to repeat the line command just hold for some time and go up don't click then click here and second point will be 
in the line of this endpoint so go to endpoint and come back don't click and when you are at correct position then click there then press enter again enter to repeat the command again track the point click again take the reference of this intersection and come at your position click enter then I want this line to be center just select that line and click on the center layer press escape to come out again select these two lines I want these lines to be hidden so click on this line press escape to come out so I wa want the same object to be on this side so I will just mirror it mirror select object then enter the mirror line will be this line so I will take this point midpoint second point will be this point press enter I don't want to erase the source so in this way it has been created as these holes are not visible so those are drawn hidden then same thing will be for this portion so again we will tracking it so at first we will create a center line so we will say line track this line click go down click enter then again I will be tracking these two lines so I will say line I will track this line then click then again track this midpoint and click enter again this line enter to repeat the command track the line again track the midpoint enter now I want these lines to be suppose I want this line center line this line is center so match properties use the match property press enter again press enter so subject will be this hidden this line will be hidden enter then I will mirror it so again mirror select both, both the lines enter give the first point of mirror line second point press enter so uh, just double click for zoom extent so in this way this object is created so we will stop here so thanks for joining